I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw Henry Ford's Model T. I'm going to take four fingers on the left and right about here down a ways I'm going to put a dot and four fingers on the right and right about here I'm going to put a dot. Come back to the first dot and we're going to draw a baby circle. Come to the second dot we're going to draw another baby circle. Go back to the first. Now we're going to draw a bigger circle going around and a skinny circle going around again. Inside we're going to do one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines, one, two straight lines. If you have room, you can put one line in between all the others. Come back over here on the right. We're going to draw another circle. We're going to draw another skinny circle around the other one. Come inside. One, two straight lines. One, two straight lines. One, two straight lines. One, two straight lines. If you have room, straight line in between each one of the double lines. Okay? Now, come over here on the left. And we're going to start right here with a dot. And we're going to draw a big curve line up, down, over, up, down, and stop. Come back to the dot. We're going to mimic that line now. Draw it again. Curve line up, down, up, down, connect. Come back to the left. We're just going to draw a straight diagonal down, straight line down, and a curve line at the end. Come right about here. We're going to draw a straight line, jump over, straight line down, connect, straight line over, straight line down, connect, jump over, straight line down. Come back over here on the top and we're just going to draw a little straight line across and put a little curve line on top. Now, starting right here at this line, we draw a straight line all the way across and then a curve line down, connect. Come back over here. Right about this point, we're just going to draw one, two, straight diagonal lines. Come right above it and let's draw a straight line over and leave it floating. Come back to the left, slightly curve line up, straight line over, curve line down, connect. Right here on the right side, we're just going to draw a curve line in, down, connect, and come back to that point and draw me a straight line down. Connect. Right at this point we're going to draw one, two straight diagonal lines. Come over here on this section on the left and draw me a straight line down. Come on the inside and draw one, two, three. One, two, one, two straight lines. And now come down here at the bottom and we're just going to draw a straight line across. I come inside and I draw a straight diagonal and an oval. And right about here I just draw a curved line. Okay, I think that's all. Now I'm going to put some animation lines. Let me try to make it look like it's moving. So I put two little curved lines on the left, two little curved lines on the right. Oops. Right here I forgot straight line down. It's on a road so we're just going to put straight lines going across. Okay, 
let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the whole entire thing is going to be black. So I'm going to start with my wheels over here and I'm going to color in my spokes. I'm going to color in my wheel. I'm going to do this left one just the same. Now what was interesting about Henry Ford is that he really not only did he make a automobile that everybody could afford but that was because he did assembly lines. One person put on the wheels, one person put on the steering wheel, one person did the body work and they worked all the way down till they completed a whole automobile in a very short amount of time. The other thing was is that Henry Ford said you can have any color you want your car to be in as long as it is black. So that also limited everybody to one color that makes it easier to put these together. Now you can see I'm not coloring really really dark because I don't want to lose my lines. But I am taking my time coloring in every section with the black. Okay, and like Henry said, you can have any color you want as long as it is black. And that was the whole key to these cars. They were very easy to manufacture and it really opened up the United States for travel. Okay? That hadn't been able, hadn't been capable of doing that in the old days. Now, the only part that's a different color is this section here. That's the light, headlights. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here's my Model T all colored in. I did the wheels a little bit different on this one. But you get the general idea. Just remember, you can have it any color you want as long as it is black. Okay, bye-bye.